Hi everybody, my name is Scott Walls. I am the source to settle and OBN expert here at Panamere. For over 25 years, I've deployed ERP applications for some of the world's largest organizations. Before I get started, I wanted to acknowledge Kilo Kondratiev for providing me with some of the key content required to put this deck together. He's an integration expert at OraCloud Plus and here at Panamere. He has years of integration experience and was a key team member on the team responsible for enabling hundreds of OBN integrations and CXML connections at Republic Services. You are watching a buyer supplier integration video. In this video, I provide an overview of Oracle Cloud's domain value mapping or DVM functionality. This application is related to the procurement functional area within Oracle Cloud. Click the link above to watch a quick video explaining Oracle Cloud's procurement functional area. Okay, I'll use the following six slides to explain this functionality. What is a DVM? Who uses DVMs? How are DVMs used? When are DVMs used? Where are DVM used for the supplier? And where are DVMs used in the message or the invoice coming back? But best of all, I'm gonna do this in less than five minutes. So let's get started. What is a domain value map or DVM? A domain value map is middleware code that translates a value in one application or domain into a corresponding value in another application or domain. For example, one application calls the UOM DZN, while its trading partner calls it DZ. When I explain this to our customers, I use potato and potato. Slide two, who uses DVMs? Any buyer who is connecting to their supplier's ERP application and any seller who is connecting to their customer's application. As a general rule of thumb, if you are connecting to and taking data from a third party, you need to do the mapping, meaning that I don't necessarily have to map the data back when I give it to an intermediary, OBN, to give it to you, being my supplier. Slide three, how are DVMs used? So here we see the actual place where the DVMs are set up within Oracle Cloud, and you can see qualifier, here's the value in cloud, trading partner qualifier, and here's that value. Slide four, when are DVMs used? So DVMs are really only used in one spot, but they're called another spot. Let me explain. When the application of Oracle Cloud is making the requisition and reaches into the third-party catalog content, it allows within the application you to map supplier values. Well, those values are using the underlying middleware code around DVMs. You just get to use the application to do the mapping much easier. Now, when you get on the back end, really not as much the PO outbound because it's not typical that you see those mapped, but on the right side of the screen where you see the optional DVM mapping around the invoice coming into Oracle Cloud, there you're going to do mapping and you have to use the method we just showed, which is the more middleware focused method. So then where are DVMs used? Well, if you created a DVM, something needs to say to that supplier, here, go use that DVM. So you need to set the DVM up on the trading partner for the supplier. That goes there. Then where are the DVMs used in the message? So this is an example of some custom code that was created around the message coming back for an invoice. This, along with that supplier invocation that says, hey, go use this DVM, this tells it to use this message to take the value and translate it. Okay, this is the end of the video presentation, but hopefully it's just the beginning of your Panamere journey. Did you know that there are thousands of free videos just like this one on Panamere.com and hundreds more on Panamere's YouTube channel? In fact, if you're watching this on YouTube, please don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to our channel. Remember, Better content, better skills, better income, better life. Panamere wants to help you get 1% better every day. Thank you for watching and have a great day.